Right now at Appalachian Wireless, you can get the Samsung Galaxy S7 for just $99.99 and get a second one free. Service agreement is required on both devices, serving you for the last 25 years with better service and bigger savings at today's Appalachian Wireless. I haven't been on death row, watched 11 men in 12 years walk by myself, four of which I knew really well. Got to shake their hand. The only thing I can say to them is Godspeed. That was Randy Steidel's life for 12 years as he sat on death row awaiting his time to come. Convicted in 1986 of a double murder in Peoria, Illinois, until his exoneration in 2004. 17 years of his life taken from a government that got it wrong. But Randy was eventually released, like 156 other inmates in the country, serving time on death row for a crime they did not commit. Steidel now works around the country to try and abolish the death penalty. Well, Witness to Innocence, uh, own, nation's only organization made up of exonerated death row inmates, work legislatively. We work with faith groups and colleges to try to change hearts and minds on the death penalty in hopes that somebody can get a repeal bill going and replace the death penalty with life without parole. The state of Kentucky has only executed three people since it brought the death penalty back in 1976. And death sentences have declined in the state steadily since the mid-1980s. Steidel says it's time for the state and the country to move on. It'd be a tremendous savings to the taxpayers. You don't risk the possibility of executing an innocent person, which I am one, and we think that if we are really a civilized country that the United States will eventually abolish the death penalty. The Kentucky Coalition to Abolish the Death Penalty and the ACLU of Kentucky have co-sponsored Steidel's presentations to inform Kentuckians about the weaknesses in the death penalty system. Yeah, so the for us, part of our work is dedicated toward educating the public about why we think the death penalty is a regressive system for Kentucky to keep on supporting. So for us, we believe that it costs too much, that it's unfair, and how it's applied. And we believe that the risk is too high for doing something, uh, for executing the wrong person. And, and especially in, like when you hear stories such as Randy's. Speaking from experience, Steidel says his five years spent as a regular prisoner serving a life sentence were worse than the 12 years he spent on death row. And that if the goal is to punish, then a life without the possibility of parole is a far harsher sentence. You know, if you really want to punish a vicious killer, don't put them on a gurney for five minutes. I watched 11 men walk off to their death in Illinois. Not a one of them went with a, out a smile on their face after decades in a cage. Steidel wraps up his East Kentucky tour at 7 p.m. tonight in Whitesburg at the Apple Shop Boone Building. Reporting from Prestonsburg for EKB News, I'm Jackson Latta.